Okay folks, today we're testing this 1970 Chevrolet AM FM stereo 8 track radio. This is the rarest of the rare as far as factory radios go. Um, you can tell it's a true 70 unit by the fact that it has these rubber coated uh, fins here. After 1970 they dropped the rubber coated fins. It still has both of its original transistors that are dated the 30 eighth week of 69. The, uh, the lens in 1970 had a green tent to it, but this is the original lens. And these numbers right here had a green tent to them, which is, this is original as well. Um, the tag has been kind of scraped off over the years, so unfortunately it's not there. Um, the radio has just fully gone through by a professional who's been doing this for decades um, for not a cheap price, and all the work ended up being $285. Comes with a 30 day warranty. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice one. So we have it hooked up, uh, usually I have it hooked up to a power supply, but this needs absolute full power. So it's hooked up to a battery, uh, an antenna, and the correct speaker. We're gonna check each uh, speaker channel individually. Um, please understand that when you have it hooked up in the car, all four speakers need to be hooked up at all times. We're just doing a short test so we can do uh, each channel individually here. Anyway, uh, we're gonna test it out. We have it on AM now. Um, AM in my area is really weak reception from about the 10 down. I live deep in a valley here, so uh, that's not the fault of the radio, but just where I live. Um, yeah, so let's test it out. Oh, also, in regards to knobs, um, I'm not including any knobs, and there's a reason for that. Uh, 1970 used. Uh, knobs for non-SS cars and it used knobs for SS cars in Chevelles I'm talking about. Um, this radio will fit Camaro, Chevelle, Nova, Impala, and, uh, and Chevelle, uh, El Camino as well. Um, but in the 1970 through 72 Chevelles, El Caminos, uh, if it had a round gauge dash it used different knobs than the sweep dash. So anyway, if you need knobs let me know. I'm sure we could work something out. If not, they're available reproduction and uh, they're pretty darn nice. Okay. There we go. Like I said, just weak reception down there deep on the dial. We are not playing. We're not helping. We're not this guy. This guy. Anyway, there's AM. We'll switch over to FM here. I'm probably going to have to turn it down quite a bit. There we go. Okay, so when you switch to FM, you can see that the FM indicator light comes on, as well as the stereo light when a strong stereo signal is tuned in. Sorry for my poor tuning. Uh, it's hard to do it with no knob on there. Uh, I've been totally listener supported since 1972. Anyway, nice reception. I'll show you all the push buttons work here. And then needless to say, this one will switch it to AM, this one will switch it back to FM. Uh, finally, let me show you the 8-track works here. We've got the Bruce, so we'll put the Bruce in the slot, you just push it in there. You'll see it shows uh, stereo is on, of course. And you can see my battery's a little low here, but you can see it works. Then to eject, you just pop it out like that. 
it'll switch back over to whatever you were on last, which was Call FM. The IBC filter hotline. If you or a loved one Finally, let me show you that all the channels are working here. I have it hooked up to a factory harness, so it'll be a little bit uh, tricky to show you what's what, but we're hooked up on one channel here, and then we're gonna move over to the purple channel which is right here so hopefully you can hear that and now we'll switch over we have two more channels down here one right here having a plan on what to do the other one right here anyway there's all the channels they all work individually like i said and uh like i said earlier we don't want to keep it on too long with uh not all the speakers hooked up so i'm going to cut this uh this video short but it's a fully serviced factory am fm stereo 8 track this will fit 70 to 72 chevelles 70 to 72 camaros 70 to 72 no actually 70 to 76 novas and i believe also it might be 70 to 74 camaros and 70 to 72 impalas um, this radio was more expensive than the Super Sport option on the 70 Chevelle, as well as many other options. It was very, very expensive. Not very many were made, and uh, most were either crunched or broken years ago and tossed out. Finding one that is not only in very nice cosmetic condition, but also good working condition is a rarity. So don't miss this one, guys. Thanks.